Hey you guys and welcome back to another month of eclectic stash busting. Um, so this month we are working with milk caps. And um, so Anna, Christy, Irene and I, we, um, we're using milk caps in different projects just to show you how to use up your stash and some different ideas to use these milk caps um, with. So here is their information. Anna is Sabers Junction. Christy is Twins for Me Too, and Irene is Lucia Casso on YouTube. So go check them out next to see what lovely things they have come up with. So let me get started here. <clears throat> so my first project, I made a little snippet collage here. Sorry, I'm working with a new camera here. I just changed my phone out, and I'm, it's, it's a mess. I'm trying to figure it out. So hope this goes well. So this is a snippet collage. I used a few different layers of just um, different fabrics here and layered them up with some vintage laces. And I put a little doily, doily piece there. And I used my milk cap for um, the center to make like a, um, a little flower. This is a stamped image that I stamped on a piece of old vintage linen there. So that's my first one. And then for my second project, I made this Rolodex card and used this milk cap here on the top for that. And um, a Tim Holtz paper doll piece. And this is a vintage receipt that um, I purchased at an estate sale. I purchased a just a, a box of old vintage ephemera and this receipt was in there so I thought that was pretty cool so I used that with my milk cap there <clears throat> and then for this one I've been trying to think of ways you know unique ways to organize my laces and so this was actually just um, a roll that that a roll of tool came on so after I used up all the tool I just used this um, the piece here it's just basically you could use a paper towel roll as well um, so I rolled my lace up on there and I used my milk caps on the top and bottom for that for my lace to store my lace on my on my desk so I think that I might make make up a few different ones of those in different sizes I thought that was a cute idea and I also made a tag <clears throat> So um, I bought a ledger book at um, an estate sale, and inside the ledger book was this this committee. Um, what do you call these things? It's a it's a ribbon, a ribbon, and so it was in a tuck spot, like as a tuck in in the ledger. So I used that on my tag with a piece of the actual ledger here behind that, and just stamped just some um, these Tim Holtz ticket stamps just around and put my milk cap here with another one of those Tim Holtz paper dolls which I love um, I'm just <laughs> I've I have a whole bunch of those that I've purchased and I'm trying to use them in my projects I really like them <clears throat> and then for my last project here um, this is my glue book I've just randomly been working on it and so you know it's just an old book that I picked up at a library sale and so I've turned it into a, a glue book, and I've been working on it. I have Anna's a tag that Anna made for me here. And so what I've done is I thought that these milk caps would be really cool as tabs in your journals. So that's what I did. I went and added um, these to a couple of my pages here. I thought they made really cute tabs there. And then also on this page, just, just as an embellishment. Um, so I haven't really this is as far as I've got in my glue book because I have other projects that I've been working on but um, you know this is going to be my in-between project project that um, that I want to use some of my my fun vintage pieces and ephemera and stuff in there that I wanted to keep so that's what I've done with that okay guys so those are the projects that I've came up with with my milk caps and I hope that you'll You'll join us in using your stash if you have some milk caps that need to be to be used in a project. And hashtag us with um, eclectic stash busting <clears throat> because we would love to see your projects as well. Thanks for watching.